rate the minimum steps on the tree of life. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, so this past summer I worked with Dr. Peter Chi, um, the Summer Fellows Project that was looking at mutation selection on the metabolic pathway and the effects on the coevolution and the rate limiting steps of the tree of life. Um, so a little background of why we wanted to look at this. Um, bioinformatics is constantly trying to further characterize evolution, which ultimately we would better quality of life. So better understanding genetics and their overall effects would help us improve our quality of life. Um, we can use mathematics to look at these change in genes over time. So a little background. Uh, first, what is a metabolic pathway? A metabolic pathway is just a set of enzymes. So in this diagram, they're represented by the blue circles. Um, enzymes are just a type of protein that catalyzes reactions. And these set of enzymes are connected by forward and reverse reactions. Um, so an example of a metabolic pathway is glycolysis. Glycolysis is a part of cellular respiration that um, takes it, glucose in and then produces two pyruvates to create energy for a cell. Um, so what we wanted to look at, though, was these chains of reactions and the nonlinear differential equations that are produced from this metabolic pathway. Okay, so and then a little background. So what is a differential equation? <coughs> differential equation is just um, a bunch of derivatives of a function or function and an equation. So we specifically looked at nonlinear differential equations that describe that pathway. Um, here's just an example of a nonlinear differential equation. So you have um, <coughs> the first line, the differential equation, then you integrate both sides in terms of dy and then dx. And then you're ultimately left with that analytical solution. So in our project, we wanted to look at this set of nonlinear differential equations. In this particular case, it's describing glycolysis. Um, and at the lab at Temple, where one of Peter's collaborators um, look, created this pathway um, using a software called Copazy, um, and it's pretty much just describing the pathway there. And we wanted to figure out what is that analytical solution, that rate, to see how um, this fitness of evolution changes over time. Okay, so then. One thing to note is in each of those equations here, it's in the form of the michaelis menten kinetics equation, which is pretty much made up of these different elements here. The big one is the concentration of the substrate, um, the Km, which is half of the Vmax of, of the substrate of, or sorry, substrate concentration at half the Vmax, and then uh, the Vmax, which is just the maximum velocity of the substrate concentration. So the big question is, um, what is that analytical solution that we're trying to find, and then what is the, how does that affect the overall fitness in the pathway? Um, so in order to try to solve this, we first looked at a one nonlinear differential equation out of the set, and we wanted to find an analytical solution to this that would ultimately solve the set, sorry, the rest of the set of the nonlinear differential equations. Um, so in order to try to figure this out, we looked at one di nonlinear differential equation, and we looked at other studies that had solved nonlinear sets of differential equations. Um, one really common model that is well known is the lack of Volterra model, which is the predator-prey model. It's a couple of nonlinear differential equations, and it looks at the populations of predator and preys over time. Um, but unfortunately, in the time that we had, um, we could not find an or enough research to find an analytical solution to the set of nonlinear differential equations. So instead, we tr diverted our path in research and then decided to use design space plots to help describe and see how the fitness of the pathway changed over time. So first, what is a design space plot? plot, plot excuse me. Um, it has input variables with a combination of interactions and parameters separated by boundaries. So each change in color shows a phase transition within the metabolic pathway. Uh, and boundaries are produced through coefficient enumeration. 
Uh, so we found this from a previous study um, by Savageau. Um, this particular lab looked at different biochemical pathways and modeled them using these design space blocks. Um, and they created a toolbox in the software MATLAB, which is just a mathematics program. So we decided to use the toolbox and try to use the equations that we had to describe them in design space plots. Um, so in the study of Savage and what we did, we entered the differential equation in as a function in MATLAB, parsed, enumerated, and calculated boundaries, and there verified the validity of this and then plotted it. Unfortunately, in the time, there was bugs with the equations that we were putting into MATLAB. Um, so the equations could not be parsed um, and ultimately could not produce the plots <coughs> using the MATLAB toolbox. So in future, um, debugging the toolbox and figuring out how to make those sets of equations work with MATLAB would be a future direction. Or also using a different computer platform such as Python to look at the set of nonlinear differential equations. Um, so, and then ultimately, in creating those plots, you could look at adjusting the parameters and seeing how the pathway evolved over time. Uh, so, in conclusion, uh, in the time that I had, there wasn't enough information on the analytical approach to find an analytical solution to the set of nonlinear differential equations. Uh, but design space plots can definitely be looked at to describe this biochemical pathway, um, and future research can look at this. Um, and then I'd like to thank Peter, um, Dr. David Liberals, Dr. Stephen Shang, Quinton, and our Sinus College and Temple University for their help and support in this project. Any questions?